and welcome back to the most amazing top 10 channel on the internet. I am your spook duke or duchess once again as we talk the top 10 real paranormal events caught on camera. I'm Rebecca J Felgate. Ghouls, wizards, ghosts, I got you babe. Before we get into this video, why don't you guys let me know if you, yes you, believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do believe in spooks, I do believe in spooks, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I do believe in spooks, I do believe in spooks, I do, I do, I do, do you? Let me know in the comments section down below. And also, this. <laughs> you will believe in more than that before I finish with you. <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely love to be the Wicked Witch of the West. She's mean, she's green, she's telling it like it is, she has all the fun. So I guess the whole melting thing, but like, whatever. Moving on, please do like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe to our most amazing family if you haven't yet done so. Check out the links in our description box for our sources and also our most amazing Instagrams. Go ahead, you'll enjoy yourself. Like, I kind of promise. Okay, let's get started with the first spook caught on film. Ever. Coming in at number 10, we have William Mumbler. What a good name. Despite ghost stories being passed down through millennia, William Mumbler is credited for being the first person in history to have captured a ghost on camera. This infamous photograph from the 1860s made headlines and garnered the man fame and fortune. He claims that the spirit was of his dead child cousin, although many now believe it was a case of double negatives. Mumbler, ever the entrepreneur, realized that he could make money from repeating the process. He styled himself as a spirit photographer and repeated the process in order to share his so called gift. It seems that he took advantage of the vast swathes of people who had lost relatives in the American Civil War. He dared to take a photo of Mary Todd Lincoln, the late president's wife. Allegedly, he captured Abraham Lincoln's ghost on camera, or so he says. Despite my skepticism for the known fraudster, President Lincoln is said to haunt the White House. Paranormal events don't always have to be ghosts, in fact a good number on this list don't actually include ghosts at all, paranormal simply means a phenomena beyond the understanding of science. I guess, like, a little bit like magic, right? And ladies and gentlemen, what is more magic than Dobby the house elf? He is coming in hot at number 9. My friend Katie Brennan has socks that say Dobby is a free elf on them and honestly I think that's the coolest thing that you can own, so shout out to you Katie Brennan, you the best. Dobby went viral in June 2019 when Twitter user JB tweeted this footage with the caption. A lady posted this and said that she saw this on her home camera this morning. What y'all think this is? The internet was very quick to respond with a resounding Dobby the house elf, aka the late great Dobby. In one week, this piece of footage got 31 million views. The footage was shot on CCTV cam outside Vivian Comas's home, and as of yet, we actually don't have any idea what this small figure was, other than evidently a house elf, right? Harry Potter is real. I'm the queen of Slytherin. I called it. Thank you. Good night. Although not good night, because I have the rest of the video to do. But then after that, good night. Coming into number eight, we have the tulip staircase ghost. A retired clergyman from British Columbia in Canada went on a trip to Greenwich in England in 1966. He intended to take a picture of a lovely, elegant, sweeping staircase at the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich. However, when he developed his footage, he saw this. Hello, ghost alert. A ghoul. Kodak examined the original negative and they thought that it was legit. Also, lol at the time that photos had to be developed. Like, it's just so easy now, isn't it? Just like point and shoot. Yep, that's right, they claimed the image hadn't been tampered with, so was it a real ghoul? The image seemed to confirm a lot of ghost stories coming from the Queen's House section of the museum where the photograph was taken. Many people had already claimed to have heard footsteps on the staircase or feel a breeze pass them as they walked up or down. Others claimed to have seen the apparition of a woman frantically cleaning blood at the bottom of the staircase. Ma. Another Canadian out and about capturing a ghost. This one is even cooler though because it's a samurai. That's right, coming into number seven. We have the samurai, kind of already said it, but there you go, twice. A young Canadian girl was on holiday with her family when her parents snapped a picture of her in Zushi and Kanagawa Beach in Japan. I really want to go to Japan, but actually this does freak me out. Can you see anything wrong with this picture? It seems that her father snapped the image on his Samsung Galaxy, but but then, when he investigated it, it looked like there was a pair of boots in the background. Now the image was shared on Reddit and the poster said nobody was around when the photo was taken and it certainly looks like nobody was behind her. The dad took about five photos of his daughter over the period of about two minutes. Now, 
This is where things get interesting. A redditor responder said the boots looked like samurai boots, which is really odd because it seems that actually the place this picture was taken is on none other than the site of a samurai tomb. Go surreal, mic drop. Terrifying. Coming in at number six, we have El Chubacabra. Anyway, I said it like that. <laughs> this demon was caught on police dash cam, and the officer involved in the incident was totally vexed. Also, I love the word vexed, it's a great word. The footage was taken in 2008 and has caused debate ever since. The video description reads A police dashboard camera catches what some might think is proof of the legendary Chubacabra. It lives and roams in the fields of the Lone Star State. Does it? This animal was seen running down a dirt path fence along the lines of a rural Texas road, convincing the internet that El Chubacabra had finally been caught on film. Coming into number 5, we have Mary Lee. Who was she? Let me tell you. The ghost of Mary Lee, a nurse who hung herself in what is hailed as the most haunted hospital in America, was caught on camera by ghost hunters. The hospital is spooky even without picture evidence. It's an abandoned tuberculosis hospital in Kentucky, so at one time it housed the sick and dying, which I bet left some kind of imprint. The hospital was functional from 1910, but it closed towards the end of the century. There are plenty of ghost stories attached to the building, including that of Mary Lee who was said to have been having an affair with a doctor who later refused to leave his wife. It is she who is said to be peeping and creeping in this picture. There is another reported ghost that luckily hasn't graced camera shutters with her presence. Why? Because she's an elderly woman who roams the hospital at night, fine, but she's roaming whilst moaning and bleeding from chained hands and feet, which is something I don't want to see. Ever. Ghost hunters also claim to have smelled fresh bread baking in an abandoned kitchen, which is actually Quite nice, to be honest. Coming into number four, is this the first ever piece of alien footage? Question mark, exclamation mark. Just because punctuation is important and I want you to know. As abhorrent as they are in many ways, I do love good tabloid newspapers because they're such utter lols sometimes. Now, I came across an article from 2017 with the title, First Ever Footage of Alien? Question mark. Dark web mysterious figure being examined. Basically, video footage thought to have been shot in 1992 in Switzerland surfaced to the public domain. Apparently discovered on the dark web, the video was labelled as EBE 1992 Iger. It looks as if the video was shot very quickly in a clandestine kind of way. Perhaps it was a lab worker or a researcher hoping to document the secret without permission. The video is made up of a series of images, most of which look to be of a naked alien body. It's very reminiscent of the whole Roswell thing. The alien had a spooky little face and seems to have pale white or grey skin, which harks back to the greys we've heard so much about in pop culture. It seems that the alien is being experimented upon. Indeed, one of the pictures shows a figure on a wire leading many to speculate it may have been electrocuted. This next photo belongs to none other than Ed and Lorraine Warren. We have the Amityville ghost at number three. Hello, how are you, ghoul? This photograph was taken in 1976 by the dynamic duo of paranormal investigators themselves. The Warrens claim that the image is of a nine year old John Defoe, who was murdered by his oldest brother Ronald, along with his three other siblings and also his parents. This all went down at their cursed home in Amityville in Long Island. Ronald claimed that voices he heard in the house made him do it, but the jury's out on that one. The house was sold to a different family a year later, the Lutz family, but they left after just 28 days because of the horror they experienced. Like, serious horror. George and Kathy Lutz said that they saw slime coming out of the walls, knives being thrown from counters, figures wandering around, once again peeping and creeping, like ghosts do, and just, you know, wailing. Classic wailing. George even said he saw his wife levitating and an evil red eyed pig like creature glaring at him, which I guess would definitely be a get out sign for me. They called in the Warrens, who amid their investigations claimed to have caught this spirit on camera. Amityville haunted Lorraine Warren for the rest of her life. She claimed it was the worst case that she ever worked on. She said it followed us straight across the country. I don't even like to talk about it. I will never go to the Amityville house ever again. It seems that John never left, but luckily they've still got this lovely picture. Just to reminisce. Coming into number two, we have the Enfield Poltergeist. The good old BBC were on the case along with our mates, the Warrens, once again, and a British paranormalist investigator. They all collaborated, and this is what they found. Journalists from the BBC were granted exclusive access to the house, and the documentary is actually still on YouTube, and I have to tell you, it is gold. Is it real? I don't know. 
but it is funny. That house was under investigation because of many many claims of paranormal activity. Over a period of 18 months more than 30 people including neighbours, fellow psychic researchers, journalists and even police officers said that they saw furniture moving of its own accord and objects being thrown across the room. It was even said that one of the children in the house levitated. So enter the beeb with their cameras right? Like I said the whole documentary is on YouTube please do find it in our source links in the description box. But this is one of my favourite moments that a poltergeist was caught being spooky on camera. Because you want to give us a special message. No. You don't want to give us a special message. Are you having a game with me? Oh, oh right. Oh, gross. Oh. And <laughs> this, like, actually made me howl and then cry a little bit. The reactions are so priceless. Can we please get them again? A game with me. Oh, oh right. Oh, gross. Oh. And like, what? <laughs> Uh, so good. So good. Okay, bringing it all back to witches once again, we have Peg the Witch at number one. I don't like Peg. I don't. Although, please don't come at me, Peg. Please. In 2016, a young girl started telling her family that Peg was coming into her room in the middle of the night. She'd scream out to her parents, who then obviously asked who Peg was, and the girl said she was a witch. Um, the things kids say. Assuming it was just a series of childhood bad dreams, the family from upstate New York ignored their daughter and got on with their lives until they took this image of their child on the family sofa. There's a crone on the couch! Cool Ghostbusters! Ah! I love the word crone as well, it's so good. The girl's dad spoke to a local newspaper and said, Is it a witch? Although I've never seen an image like that before or after on the couch, I'm inclined to think it must have been the lighting combined with the TV set which was on at the time. It cast a shadow on the couch. Still it is odd. Odd it is. He continued by saying my daughter would stare as if in a trance and say that she saw a witch in the house. I don't like that. That does not make me feel good. Categorically. Although, once again, I'm still in full support of the Wicked Witch of the West. So guys that was that, once again I ask you do you believe in spooks? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you've got any experiences then leave them, I'd love to read them out in a future video. For now though I have run out of time, I've got to get on out of here, but thank you so much for watching this video. We've got a whole playlist so stick around, but I am your host Rebecca Felgate and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!